You. Oh, hi Alexis. What's going on? Wipe that smile off of your face Jordan. Logan, Jonathan, Laura, Morgan, Rachel, Holly, Ellen, Michael and I just heard the dark true colors of you all along. Really? What did I even do this time? Well, you misbehaved at least nine times, disrespected at least two times, received a bad report card and so much more. And if all that wasn't enough, you had the full audacity to sneak beer into school, make fake attendance notes and skip school, and not to mention that you were also leaving the restaurant without paying and ruining your mom's virtual job interview two years ago. And your teacher just informed me that she saw that you were looking up child pornography on school grounds in which you are going to kill and hurt innocent children. Freaking children? Are you kidding me? Why on earth would you ever do such a thing to innocent children? You know that child pornography is a serious crime and you can go to prison for that. Alexis, I'm really sorry. Can you please give me another chance? I promise that I will start the relationship with you all over again. No. Absolutely not. I am not starting a relationship all over again with you Jordan, ever. And besides, your family had just told my friends and I everything about you. You made us manipulative, assertive, rude, snobby, trashy and many other bad adjectives. Not to mention that you also had failing grades in all of your classes, and we have had it. So do you know what this means? Oh dear heavens. I am so screwed. I am breaking up with you forever. In addition to that, I will never become like you ever again, I am never going to follow you on your social medias ever, and I am done with your stupid behavior that you put all of us through in Randolph Valley. I am cutting ties with you forever. Have fun being single and without having friends and your girlfriend by your side. Good riddance forever. No. Please Alexis. Give me another chance. Come back to me. I love you so much. Yeah right. Do not ever speak to me or to my friends at Randolph Valley High School anymore. We hope that you rot in hell for the rest of your life. I can't be seen with a child predator and a showbiz like yourself Jordan. Oh no. What have I done? Wow. Well well well. You should have seen this one coming Jordan. We have heard about the dark true colors of you and that you were looking up child pornography. This is straight up not okay Jordan. I agree with Jonathan. What is up with you these days now? Logan and Jonathan, you see, Alexis was just too wild. That's all. Alexis being wild? No man. That word you put up with Alexis does not mix at all like this. My friends and I heard that you were looking up child pornography on school grounds. What are you, a psychopathic delinquent? Exactly. And to be quite honest, I'm so glad that my friends and I cut ties with you, because your behavior is really getting out of shape. I agree with Michael, Logan and Jonathan. We hope you get expelled from Randolph Valley High School forever and never be brought back to this school for good. You are a big disgrace to society. We no longer want to be seen with you anymore. Have fun being single, you good-for-nothing pervert. I agree with my friends. Now come with us to Principal Tanner's office right now. Oh, my, freaking, God. Jordan, you were looking up child pornography on school grounds? Your girlfriend and your friends told me about the dark true colors of you. What on earth were you thinking? You know that child pornography is a serious felony and you can get arrested for it. And not to mention that Alexis has told me about all the bad stuff you did that caused your friends to be in serious jeopardy. Wow. Just wow. Oh no. My parents are going to kill me and then disown me for all of this. You want to know why I called your parents and the police at Randolph Valley? It's because of your violent behavior that you literally exhibited towards us, and not to mention you betrayed us for no reason at all by not letting us know about the dark true colors about you. Oh 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 oh. Jordan McFarland, you are in serious trouble right now. Well, you and your family will not believe this. Jordan did a lot of bad stuff to everyone at Randolph Valley High School. Oh really? 
Is that all you said? Oh, and another thing, not only he did a lot of bad stuff Mr. McFarland, but your son was also looking up child pornography on school grounds as well. This made us really furious that we all have to turn against him and betray him forever. What? Did my son Jordan looked up child pornography on the school's ground already? Yes, he was. Alexis and her friends told me everything he did. Um, hi mom, dad, Justin and my true good clone. Oh, my holy freaking god. Jordan McFarlane with a daddy dies. Are you freaking serious right now? We can't believe you were doing a lot of bad stuff and then looked up child pornography on school grounds. You know that is a really bad thing to do. We are beyond cross with you right now. How could mom and dad raise a child predator such as yourself? I seriously want to kill you right now for everything you did. I'm not gonna lie about it. Your disgusting behavior is really putting all of us in serious jeopardy. That is so it. We have absolutely hit it with your behavior right now. As of today, you are no longer part of the family anymore for everything that you did and for looking up child pornography Jordan. We are also going to disown you from the family forever. You are a big disgrace to society. We no longer want to be seen with you anymore. Good riddance forever you disgusting stink back. And one more thing, as of today, you are permanently expelled from Randolph Valley High School. And as a result of this Jordan, as of today, we are officially cutting ties with you permanently and Alexis is indeed breaking up with you forever. We have also blocked you on our social media accounts so that you will never set foot on you ever again. If you violate that order against your family, your teachers and to us, we will execute you on the spot. Do you hear us right now? Penelope Taylor the smartest girl in the world is already on her way to arrest you. Long time no see Mrs. Tanner. Penelope Taylor the smartest girl in the world here. What did Jordan do this time now? Well Penelope Taylor, you will not believe what just happened to Jordan. Jordan was doing a lot of bad stuff at Randolph Valley High School, and he was also looking up child pornography on school grounds as well. Please arrest him for good this time. Jordan McFarland, the smartest girl in the world says that you are now being under arrest for the possession of child pornography on school grounds and for doing a lot of horrible and bad stuff at Randolph Valley High School. You are coming with me right now. Jordan McFarland, the smartest girl in the world says, if you don't stop crying like a motor car, I will use my smartest moves to turn you into one, and have you be taken away by Cecile Bernard and Crystal Moore Bucks, the richest girls in the world. You heard what Penelope Taylor said. So good riddance forever, you attention seeker. With Jordan McFarland and the Porter twins expelled from Randolph Valley High School and never exist from Randolph Valley again, we are all going to bring light and peace so that we can all have a fresh new start. That's right Mrs. Stanner, I can't wait to have the real version of Jordan be my date and my upcoming fiancé. And speaking of that Alexis, I really like this Jordan a lot. We're much better having this Jordan than the old Jordan, and we're going to have so much fun without any troublemakings or misbehavings at Randolph Valley High School anymore. And that's the end of an incredible senior year for all of us. Jordan McFarland, as well as Ty and Carter, are finally being defeated. I agree with you, Laura. No more of those troublemakings anymore, and we are so glad that this is all over. We should all tell Ellen and Jason that things are going to be settled now, and besides, Ellen and Jason have already cut ties with Jordan already. You said it, girl. Hey guys. Maybe mom and dad can be teachers at Randolph Valley High School, because I heard that they are really good teachers and all that. Jordan, you just made us think about that right now. We are also keeping the old jobs as well, just in case you, Justin and your friends can fill in for us. And Jordan... You and your brother are also graduating along with us, because you guys are also seniors of high school as well. What? You guys are kidding us. Thank you for adding us to graduate Randolph Valley High School. We love you guys so much. It was all Rachel Bradshaw's idea. After the graduation, we all are going to celebrate Jordan's and Ty and Carter's expulsion for good. But, even if you misbehave or get suspended or expelled, that won't happen to anyone. 
except for the evil troublemakers. Well, what are we all waiting for? Let's celebrate. You said it. <laughs> This is so not fair. First I lost my family's trust, then I lost my friends and family, then I got expelled from Randolph Valley High School, then I got arrested and then I got disowned from the family forever. I finally lost everything. Can't my life get any more worse than this? Jordan McFarland, if you don't stop crying like a motor car right now. I will use my object heads to turn you into one, and have you be driven away by my sister Molly Peterson.